Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to my blog and if you're looking at my face right about now and you're thinking boy your face look kind of mash up in a virgin, got a face for radio blood, you know what I mean? I agree, simple reason being is that I've been making music up to around quarter to four this morning, now I know a lot of people's going to be saying to me well in this lockdown period Lloyd you've got to basically have a routine, have a routine, have a routine, have a routine, that's all well and good but I'm one of these type of brothers right? The only routine that I have is when I go into album mode. That is when my routine is lock. Other than that, I don't have a routine. I just do what I want, with who I want, where I want, how I want. So, give you an example. I was in the mood to basically clean up my flat. What time did I do it? Around half past two in the morning. Vacuum cleaner and everything. <laughs> I'm not a societal kind of person. I don't jump into something because it's trending, you know what I'm saying? That's just not me. I just do my own thing in my own way. You either you like it or you don't. Just gonna give you a channel update as to what I intend to do from here on in. Now, I'm not doing it to basically look a holy for subscribers, but I'm just doing what I'm doing with a sense of purpose in the social media hemisphere, atmosphere, stratosphere whatever you want to call it. So I've decided to um, to expand it by actually doing a lot more detailed stuff of what I do already. Firstly, with tutorials. Um, I've noticed that with the tutorials that I've, been, that I've been doing in terms of how I make music and what I hear within the music and what have you, seem to be getting quite a few views. And um, not only that, people have been inspired to link up with me and not only thank me, but to actually play me tracks that they have made based upon the tutorials that I have um, recorded and uploaded onto YouTube. And some of the results have really, really been good. Some of the results need a little bit of working on, but the, the, the overriding thing in all of this is that everybody is being creative. And my rule of thumb is, is that you're never too old to learn. You can learn something from someone that doesn't even know as much as you do in terms of your craft and what you do. It's all relative and each one can teach one and that's what I'm about. I intend to uh, expand on my tutorials and also I'm going to be doing competitions and the like so people can win copies of albums and yada 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 and blah de, blah de, blah and re, 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 re. I really want to get involved in the tutorials thing as well and um, to give people an insight, more of an insight as to how my workflow in music is created, is shaped. Me sitting down in front of a computer, although it's inspiring to people in the way that it has been, I want to get even deeper and actually show you um, do some screen recording on my computer to actually show you how the process works. And I want to take this opportunity in bigging up and larging up one of my brethren who is one of my subscribers and has been very, very inspirational to me in my endeavors as a musician right about now. And his name is Justin. He actually watched one of my tutorials. I think it was the Easy Keys from Tune Track tutorial. And he actually reached out to me and thanked me for doing that tutorial and sent me some tracks that he built. And I thought, rah, when I got the tracks I listened to them, I thought, okay, yeah, you really learned off me kind of thing. And then we, you know, we linked up and um, now we're doing an album together. So this is what I'm talking about, how social media can actually bring a positive thing in terms of creativity. And this is a situation that I don't have to be in a lockdown situation for it to manifest. It just happens that way. And I want to expand on that, you know, and seeing that the tutorials have basically helped so many people in so many different ways on so many levels. That's what I really want to expand on right about now. So the next video will actually be about a track that I decided to revamp and give to one of my colleagues for free. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, for free, because I am of the pay it forward school of thought. Now, if you haven't seen this movie, you need to watch this movie. This movie is about a youth, right? And as part of his social studies um, project, he wanted people to do a good deed for someone else. And 
instead of them paying it back, he wants them to pay it forward to three other people. And in turn, those three people pay it forward to three people each. And that's how it multiplies. And I'm thinking, you know, that's a positive direction of how humanity can go. That's a good direction of how positivity can flow. We're wrapped up in the spread of a disease that is just, it's killing people. It's revealing people in a way that I've never expected before. It's just making people behave digi and what have you. And to some degree, I can understand that. But I want to offset that and counterbalance that by doing something positive in the field that I am familiar with. That's more or less it. That's all I've got for you right about now. So pay it forward. If you haven't seen it, watch that movie. Very inspirational. Anyway, I'm out of it. Um, so the next video is going to be about me building a track and giving that track to one of my colleagues for free. For free. Freeness. Everybody loves a little bit of freeness, don't they? Anyway, I'm out of it. I've got a bounce. So it's with that, I'm gonna bid you a fond adieu. And as always, you've done know the cool ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters. People, please, please abstain from foolishness. Stay in your yard, be safe. And until I catch you on the next one, people, stay blessed. I'm out of here. Magan, laters. Abstain from foolishness.